Okay, now the third question. A leaf of mass uh, 1200 kg is suspended by a steel cable. The leaf can move upwards at a maximum acceleration. Uh, that means it accelerates up. Yeah, now it's not equilibrium. The, it has acceleration yeah, of 1.5 meter per second square. The maximum tensile stress that can be withstood by the cable is 120 megapascal. Mega. Mega need to change to SI unit. Uh, determine the minimum diameter of the cable. Why suddenly have minimum diameter? Minimum. Maximum stress. Minimum diameter. What's the relationship between maximum stress and minimum diameter? Later we will see. Okay, so information given, so it asks for the diameter. Uh, 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 information given is the mass. Yeah, you have the mass, you have the acceleration. This thing is not equilibrium, it has acceleration upwards. Stress, okay, so this is the stress. Uh, 1. Uh, 120 megapascal, you need to change your SI unit, and you need to find diameter, which is state minimum. Stated minimum. Okay, first of all, uh, this is the system. Okay, a cable, a steel cable pulling on the leaf. Uh, this is the leaf. Okay, and this leaf is accelerating upward, uh, accelerating upward with uh, 1.5 meter per second square. Uh, so it's back to the Newton's second law total force equal to ma. Go back to chapter forces, Newton's second law. So, remember, follow acceleration positive. Uh, remember the sign, positive negative sign. Positive means follow acceleration. Negative means uh, opposite the acceleration. Uh, that's how we determine the sign of the, of the forces. So, follow acceleration positive. Opposite the acceleration is negative. So, I can see tension is positive because it follow acceleration. Mg is negative because opposite acceleration. So apply this into the formula total F equal to Ma. So the tension is positive because it follows acceleration. And Mg is negative. Mg is negative because it opposite opposite the acceleration. Uh, so from here I need first I need to find the tension. Yeah? Normally we always find the tension. Okay, so we can find the tension. Tension is equal to uh, mg go to the other side. Uh, mg go to the other side. So mg become positive. So now I can get the tension. I can get the tension. And mass, mass can be factored out. Mass can be factored out. Uh, so tension is, uh, what's the mass? Uh, 1,200. And then uh, acceleration is 1.5. And G is 9.81. And so, what I get? I get 13572 Newton. That's the tension in the steel cable. In the steel cable. So, this tension will cause the stress. The stress in the cable. Okay, this tension. So, stress is actually... What is stress? Stress is force over area. Uh, why, why, why the, the cable has force? Why the cable has force? Because it has tension. Uh, so the force in the cable, the force is the cable, is the tension, isn't it? The force in the cable is the tension. Uh, tension. So just substitute F with tension. Yeah? The force in the cable, remember? The force in the cable is the tension uh, the tension now i got the tension ready now uh, just now he mentioned uh, maximum stress isn't it he mentioned maximum stress uh, i need to change the color uh, change to yellow color isn't it more beautiful okay i don't like the peach color yeah i like the yellow uh, because it shines Writer. Okay, so um okay, let's back to business. Um just now he said maximum stress, yes. 
the maximum stress maximum stress means the minimum area uh, minimum area uh, you see uh, so we have maximum stress minimum area when you have the minimum area when you have the minimum area means you have the minimum diameter uh, you see or not uh, that's why he mentioned what he mentioned the minimum diameter uh, now do you get that uh, because it's inversely proportional, you see? The stress is inversely proportional to the area. And that's why also stress also inversely proportional to the diameter. Maximum stress, minimum, minimum area. When minimum area means minimum diameter. Uh, okay? Minimum diameter. Okay, let's find out the area first. I got the tension already. So stress, the maximum stress can be is 120 mega pascal. So mega is exponent 6. Uh, change to SI unit. 100 mega, mega pascal. Mega is exponent 6. Uh, change to SI unit, pascal. Yeah? Mega, mega, mega is uh, exponent 6. Uh, okay, remember? Uh, mega is exponent 6. So... Okay, I already changed to SI unit. So now I can uh, tension I already have 13572. Yeah, that's the tension there. I got it. And I can find the minimum area. Uh, the minimum area. So what's my minimum area? My air minimum area. I mean, yeah? I mean. Uh, okay, 1.131 exponent negative 4 meter square ah that's the minimum area so for minimum area i can find minimum diameter so by default he didn't say what shape of the area so normally cable is a normally cable is a circle area isn't it for cable if didn't mention and what shape is it the cross section area should be by default a circle you know what is mean by default kebiasaan yeah or um, typical yeah uh, typical uh, so the typical area is a circle for cable it didn't mention didn't mention what shape means by default is a circle so for the area we use if a circle uh, if a circle uh, it is a pi r square or a pi d square over 4 if diameter because now we want to find diameter uh, if find radius, if find radius, then we use pi r square. But if find diameter, diameter, we straight away use pi d square over 4. Okay? So I got the area just now. Just substitute inside. And uh, that's it. Stop. Problems. Another easy questions. Okay? Uh, so I can find the diameter already. Uh, so just, uh, this is the minimum diameter. So, uh, minimum diameter is, uh, you just uh, cross multiply and you will get 0 0.012 meter. Yeah, because uh, SI unit meter square, so I get meter for diameter. 0 0.012 meter. Is that correct? Yes, uh, this is 0 0.012. Lah. Yeah, uh, 0 0.0. Uh, the diameter is 0 0.012 meter. Okay, that's it. You see, force apply. I mean, the equation apply. Newton's second law. Newton's second law. Find the tension. Find the tension. And then uh, the force in the cable. Force in the cable is always the tension. Use the stress formula. Force over area. Find the area. From area, always can find diameter. And by default, the shape is always a circle. Okay, unless he uh, mentioned specifically is another shape like square, rectangle. Uh, if you didn't mention anything, by default, it's a circle. Pi r square or pi d square over 4 if asked for diameter. Remember, always change to si unit. Like mega pascal, change to pascal. That's it. All you have to... Um, um, take note, yeah, that's it for question 3. See you in question 4.